Dia Brothers Oh, Bukit Panjang SMC El Holland Bukit Timah DRC Time passes fast I've been here in Bukit Panjang for 14 years serving our residents as your member of parliament Let me first thank all of our residents for the strong support you have given me over the years Over the years, your strong support has given a lot of encouragement for me to work harder to serve you better Everyone in Bukit Panjang knows that I work hard, I work with the residents, I listen to the residents' needs and concerns, I pay them visits, I've been to the house, the flats many times. The main purpose is to understand what are their needs, their concerns, and explore solutions to help and better serve our residents. When I first came to Bukit Panjang in 1996, Bukit Panjang was a new town. At that time, there were not many amenities. When I first did my first block visit, I got one whole shopping list from our residents. Residents felt that they do not have many facilities. But today, Bukit Panjang has a full range of facilities. We have so many primary schools, we have secondary schools, we have wet market shopping center, upcoming MRT station, we have LRT and also many other facilities in our neighborhood. Over the years, I've worked very closely with our volunteers and our residents. And many of them have actually become my good friends. I think it is this strong rapport, the relationship between myself, my volunteers and my residents that has strengthened the bond of our people. Today, Bukit Panjang residents take pride to be staying in this town. We have over the years built a great home and a vibrant community for all our residents. Why is Bukit Panjang a great home? We are the first constituency to have upgraded all the blocks which are eligible for leaf upgrading. A total of 132 blocks have undergone leaf upgrading, providing leaves to stop at every floor. This morning, I visited one block, block 106. One resident on a wheelchair thanked me. He said, lucky thing, we upgraded the leaves three years ago. If not, she will not be able to get up and get out of the house. The husband was very grateful that we had this foresight and we implemented the leaf upgrading program. Many residents have given me feedback that the leaf upgrading program has indeed brought a lot of convenience to our residents. The second thing is that in Bukit Panjang Town, we are 100% better free. Over the years, we have placed a lot of emphasis to make sure that every part of the town is barrier-free, is accessible to our residents, young, old, handicapped, those who are not so mobile. We want to make sure that it is an inclusive town where everyone can move along, around very conveniently. And that's the reason why we have provided barrier-free access we have provided lots of covering ways for residents. When I took over as town council chairman in 2001, my first priority is to build a barrier-free, seamless town in Bukit Panjang. Over the last 10 years, a lot of our resources have been invested in building barrier-free access and covering ways and doorway points. That's why today, if you look at Bukit Panjang town, we are one and the only town that has got many coupling ways and better free access. Besides a, new, uh, a good town, a great home, we also have a vibrant community. We have very active residents who come out very regularly to participate in our community activities. And I must thank all the volunteers for helping us to reach out to the residents. Together, we can build a strong community in Bukit Panjang. Besides 
a vibrant community, we are also a caring community. And we have helped many needy residents in our constituency. Last but not least, let me just share with you eight projects we are doing for the next five years. We are building a new wet market and food centre at Block 259. You know that the MRT station is coming out with a bus interchange integrated. We are going to build a build Bukit Panjang integrated hub. And we will be providing or building community gardens in every single precinct in our neighbourhood. We have a number of neighbourhood renewal programmes and we are going to have a big nature park just beside the BKE. And of course, we want to address the car park lots. We want to add more car park lots for our residents because uh, over the years, the car population has increased and we want to provide more lots for our residents. Besides that, we'll be doing a few more improvement projects to make our town more seamless and vibrant. With that, once again, let me thank all of you and I hope you'll continue to support me and vote for PAP. Vote PAP. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr.